Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to add some fonts in Kittle. So right now, I'm currently inside Kittle website. To be precise, I am inside the Kittle editing platform. Right now, you'll see this word sample. Let me just zoom it in right there so we can have better look at it. So whenever I text or add a text right there, this text setting shows up. You can change your effects like so. For example, you want to decorate. You want some changing colors right there. You want to change the font color, of course, would be right here. So I'm just showing you the basics on how to use or utilize this option right there. Of course, the text fonts will be here, perfectly placed on this option right here. Now, for example, you want to upload your fonts. The only way to do this and the one and only way, of course, is clicking on that option right there. It's like the logo of the iCloud if you're uploading something on your iPhone. So simply click on that one. However, if I click on it right now, you'll see that it is a paid plan. Or rather, it is a paid plan subscription feature. So currently, I'm still having a free trial option or free trial account. Since I'm still waiting for the approval of my account. However, I cannot wait to share this with you guys. So again, just simply click on that one and upload your fonts. But here's the thing, which part of the internet will get your fonts? Because you cannot get them inside Kittle. So I'm going to share you on this website right here. Let me just go to it right now. So for this one, we're going to call it fontsgoogle.com or this is going to be the website. Simply click on the fonts, make sure you're in here because there are a lot of things to choose here. You have fonts, you have noto, icons, knowledge, and FAQs. For this one, just type in the font type, for example. You have Roboto, you have Ansa, Open Sans, Micro 5. Now I'm going to click on Micro 5 just for um, discussion purposes. And then once you're here, of course, you'll see Micro 5 right there. You'll have the default um, sample. You have it right there. And then basically, click on the Get Font option right here. If you click on Get Font, you'll have the option to download everything. So take note, it is not only one file that has Micro 5. Let me just open my download folder right there so I can show you how it looks like. So you'll see right here, I have downloaded Josephine Sands. So if you click download all, you'll have a lot of Josephine Sands. That means it has a lot of weight. You have bold, bold italic, extra light, extra light italic, italic light, and so on and so forth. Same goes with Micro 5. So simply click on download and then go back to Kirill. Once you're inside in Kirill again, make sure you click your text, choose the text settings, and then simply click on that option right there. Now, since I don't have access, I can show you what it looks like inside. Let me just open my screenshot. Give me a second here. Opening it right now, and there we have it. So as you can see, click on that option right there, and then you should see them right here. You'll see that upload option, or that says uploads. Here are your new fonts inside Kittle right now. So there is Joseph Incense right there if you followed my end right there if you uploaded the Joseph Incense. And then once you upload everything, for example, of the weight, you'll see them right here. For example, you'll have bold, italic, thin, flat italic, and so on and so forth. And basically that's it. It is a pretty important topic to go through, so I want to share it with you as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye for now